So, guys, it's almost end of the year, right? And New Year's coming up. And so a lot of articles are being published right now, you know, talking about like what 2017 has been, what, ha what has happened in 2017. And what I found out is that like, you know, lots of new technologies, new ideas, new innovation um, has uh, like spurned like, like spurn up, like what's the word I'm looking for, like sprung up, yeah. And um, so, but it's still pretty sad that we're still using non-renewable non -renewable energy source to power our houses and like buildings, right? And let's, you might say like, Kanjo, but there's solar, there's solar panels there, like they're readily available. Yes, but they're bulky, right? They take a lot of space and they just look ugly on buildings, right? It's, and let's say even if you get past the physical f features of, of a solar panel, right? You gotta think about the cost then. The cost, the initial capital amount, the initial capital cost for solar panels is way too high. And it's sometimes not even worth it for like, to install it in certain locations. So like, what if I tell you there's another type of technology, right? New technology that's up and coming. This technology will revolutionize the way you think of solar panels. What I'm gonna be talking about is transparent solar panels. Has anyone heard of any transparent solar panels or? Yeah, okay, one. Um, so here are the three, three reasons why you should start in, um, Invest, um, installing transparent solar panels in your house or wherever, you, pretty much in your life. The applications are endless. It'll, it'll be a fraction of the cost compared to uh, conventional solar panels. And it'll disrupt the energy industry. So let's talk about the applications first, right? The most, like, the most uh, logical thing to do if you have a tr transparent solar panels is to install them in tall skyscraper buildings because they're all there, like, so they're covered with glass, right? Uh, so like average skyscraper building has around 80,000 meters square f uh, meters of surface area of like of glass, just on one side. Just the, I'm calculating only the one side because sun usually hits the one side. There's only one sun. <laughs> so you can, you'll get around, and each square meter gets you around one to two watts of power, which means it could power, this building could power 80,000 80, watts to 160 watts of power. Now this is free energy guys, right? This is energy that we have never harvested before, right? We have never found, we have never used this type of technology before. It's completely adding to the already like um, different varieties of how we make energy, right? Uh, another application is in Tesla solar cars or just any electrical hybrid cars, right? Because they run on battery and Imagine the windshield of the car having the ability to absorb solar light and power the battery up or charge the battery up, right? There are around at least 2 million electric and hybrid cars in, in the U.S. alone. And imagine all those cars uh, producing like, electricity to like, increase the average distance of that car, right? So you won't need to charge as much. So if you do that, it creates a greater incentive for you to buy the car or for anyone Who's, wants, who's interested in buying a solar car. And at the same time, you're reducing carbon emissions at the, because you're, you, know, you don't have to charge as much. And yeah. Another application is smartphones, right? Everyone has smartphones. Uh, in the world, there's actually around 1.7 billion smartphones in the world right now. So imagine all those cell phones, even just charging 1% just from solar sunlight. It's, it's gonna be a lot of, lot of free energy we're capturing. Uh, like even like, let's say putting your phone on like a table in your room, right? It's, it, it, it could potentially be charged from the ambient light as well. Um, so let's talk about how it works. Uh, conventional OPEX solar panels, they absorb three types of wavelengths, ultraviolet, infrared, and the visible wavelength. What transparent solar panel does that, it only absorbs two wavelengths, ultraviolet and the infrared, and the visible light is readily passed through the glass, which makes it seem transparent to our eyes, which is pretty neat, right? It's, it seems pretty cool now. Like, it seems really cool, I think, that we can actually do this. Uh, here's a video showing an, like, the live action of the technology. Did I press something or? Yep. Okay. 
Let's say if he puts his hand over it, right, which will stop the ambient light from reaching the glass. And it'll turn off. Yep. It's pretty neat, right? Yeah. Imagine this everywhere in the world, right? OK, so let's talk about the cost. Well, this, like, it's the most important thing now, nowadays. It's the money. So this will actually save you money and save the world at the same time, right? Because nowadays, if you look at, um, like if you want to buy something that like, helps the world, right? Something that's green. It tends to be more costly for your wallet. It's, it's more expensive. It's n and it helps you, like, you know, mentally, like, oh, I'm helping the world. But like, it's costing you a little bit more. But with transparent solar panels, you get both. It'll save you money, and it'll change the world. So let's, let's say you're building your dream house, right? Um, you're going to have, you're going to install windows regardless of like if you have those transparent solar panels or not. So even if you have transparent solar panels, so let's say you do have transparent solar panels, it will actually reduce your electricity bills, and so it'll be saving a lot of money as the years go on, days go on. And it might be a little bit more expensive just to install the glass, but it'll repay that amount within a year easily. And another way of like it'll save you money is let's say it'll reduce the, uh, reduce the AC usage um, in your building or in your house. And you might wonder, how does AC have to do with like, you know, transparent solar panels? Um, so when I, when I told you how it works, I said that ultraviolet and infrared uh, wavelengths are absorbed, which means there's no excess heat coming into the building, which means that like tall buildings like this, they have lots of AC running because the excess heat is always running during the summer weather. During the summer weather, the AC is always running. So if there's no excess heat coming, that means that there's always, uh, you're going to reduce the cost of AC, which is going to save you money, and it's going to help save the world. So it's, you're doing both. Uh, so another reason why you should change to uh, transparent solar panels is because it'll disrupt the energy industry. So right now, there's around 5 to 7 billion square meters of glass in the US alone. Imagine all those glass can be transported, uh, changed to transparent solar panels. So that will give you around 150,000 kilowatts of hour of energy. So let's put that in perspective. That will power 450 air conditioners. That's running eight hours a day per month. Right? It's, it's, it's crazy how much energy you're getting just from uh, transparent solar panels. And you'll save you around 250,000 pounds of carbon emissions, too. And that, add, like, which amounts to like, saving 400,000 kilometers of gasoline fuel. Which, think, if you think about it, that's a lot, right? That's, that's. Okay, so now let's look at the big picture. Um, right now, if you think about the whole world, we're only using 27% of renewable energy. Like, we only get 27% energy through renewable energy sources. But other than that means you get 73% of non-renewable energy, right? It's, it, it seems the less, but because you got to look at the whole picture, that's why it's only 27%, the whole, the whole world. So, but if you were to include the calculation for transparent solar panels, you get around 50% of renewable energy sources. And that means you're reducing 25% of non-renewable energy uh, like production, right? That's going to save you lots of um, carbon emissions, and it's going to pretty much save the world, right? And you got to think about, like, as the years go on, every technology gets better. Like, solar panels have gotten better, uh, wind turbines have gotten better, and the efficiency of, of them gotten better. So this is just a version of one of uh, transparent solar panels. It will get better. The efficiency will get better. So the 50% will increase, right? And so let's recap. Uh, it will. You can use them anywhere. Anywhere you see glass, you'll start thinking about like, oh, I could install trans transparent solar panels here, right? It'll disrupt the energy industry, and it'll do this in a fraction of the cost. I think that concludes my presentation.